sun will rise. Episode 4 Freedom. Freedom. But no one's waiting for you. Let's get out of here. The train leaves in five minutes. We've got a long way. Come on. <sighs> I haven't been sleeping well. I hardly slept last night. I kept tossing and turning, and all I do is think. Mom, go outside then. Breathe some fresh air. <sighs> By the way, Aramenko said hello to you. I saw him recently. Aramenko? Who's that? Mom, Aramenko. Works at your office? I don't remember. Mom, I gotta go. I'll take you to your room. I want to keep walking. You go. Take care, Mom. Hey, Maxim. Please ask Vika to get me some more of those pills. Mine are running out. Will you do that for me? Already? Yeah, sure, sure. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. See you soon. Yura. You've come back. I missed you so much. Why didn't you call me? I would have gone for you. It's okay. I didn't want you to worry about that. I'm already home. That's what's important. Let's go inside. Your son came to visit you? He did? Yes, he did. But he's gone now. <gasps> oh, my son, yes. He promised to bring some pills. You are lucky. My family sent me here and forgot about me. Who needs a disabled person? No. Mine is always in touch, and pay visits. That means that he's a good son. I often see him with someone. Is that girl he's with his fiance? Vika's not his fiance. Really? It's a pity. She looks smart. The family ship won't go astray if she's behind the <laughs> wheel. That is true. But for some reason, my son doesn't love her. Who knows? Although she's caring, she brings me medicines. Uh, you see? She is caring. And in our situation, that's the most important thing. That is true. You need help? No. Anya, please put those gardening tools back, and then we can have lunch, okay? Okay.
forget-me-nots. All right. Shall we have lunch? Yura, the garage is empty. Where's the car? I sold it. What? It was a memory. I didn't want to tell you, all right? The Krasnitskys really wanted you to pay for all of their losses through a court order. It was too much for you to pay back. So I had to do something. But Ira, I have no words. It was so important to you. I wanted to do it. You were my angel. Thank you, thank you, Ira. I'll pay you back for everything. You're crazy, Anya. I won't let you do that. Ira, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Let's stop talking about this. You've been through so much. You need your life back. Yes. I have to. I'll look for a job. Yes. And you know what else? I really want to see Maxim. Let's go. Lunch is getting cold. You know, I used to hide everything in there. Newspapers, balls. I'd always come here after school with the guides. I wonder what's in there now. Yeah. There's something here. What's there? Nuts for squirrels? <laughs> no, you're wrong. This is for you. How did you know I love forget-me-nots? I didn't, but... When I saw them, I realized that they're as gentle as you are. Thank you.
<laughs> no one ever told you you're a hottie? Thanks for noticing. Mm -hmm. Listen, Vika, I need more pills for my mom. It's a good thing you're here. We don't have a nurse in the therapeutic department. Uh, well, I hope I can manage. <laughs> Where have you been working lately? Do you need to know all that? Of course I need to know. Well, you see, I just recently got out of jail. So you were in jail? Sorry, we have no positions for you. None at all? That's right. Don't come back here again. Have a good day. Excuse me, where's the human resources office? I don't know, I don't work here. Well, geez. Excuse me, do you know where human resources is? So how's your maxim? When are we going to get to see the wedding? Yeah, I wish. So far, we're just friends. What's wrong, Vika? I don't recognize you. You should have him wrapped around your finger. So Nishana, what should I do? What should you do? Take fate into your own hands. Make the first move yourself. What if he's not ready yet? So, are you waiting until you get old? Look at you, you're a goddess. I don't understand why your maxim hasn't proposed to you. Hold on, I think I know. I need to talk to someone. Do it. God, these are such beautiful flowers. <sighs> okay. <laughs> wow, Ira, you're actually glowing. <laughs> Anya's back home. You're kidding me. How's she doing? She's okay. She's looking for a job. She's lost some weight. Mm. Ira, listen, would you mind telling her not to come by here? Why not? Well, there's money here, products. I don't get it. What do you mean? What do I mean, Ira? I don't even know what they taught her in prison. Good morning. <laughs> Having breakfast already? Good morning. I came home late yesterday. You were sleeping already. My boss asked me if I'd work the night shift. Well, Anya, how are you doing? Nobody wants to give me a job because of my background. You think maybe I could work at the flower shop? I don't think so. My boss will say no. Because I was in jail? Clearly. Anya. We can manage. Trust me, I know we can do it. We are going to be all right. Ira. You know what I've noticed? You're a lot different now. You're more calm, mild of manner. I'm a bit surprised. I started going to church. I pray and everything. It becomes easier. The Lord has given me strength. I ask for blessings. For me and for you too. Thanks, Ira. Oh, Anya, should we ask Anastasia to help? Hmm? Maybe she's got something in mind. You're right. Why didn't I think of it? She helped me so much at the beginning when you went to jail. 
She seemed to get a job in a hospital after medical school. Where is she now? Didn't she ever tell you about it? Well, no. But I never asked, either. I'll go to her place. Maybe she'll help me somehow. Mm -hmm. Well, everything seems to be going strong. We've been dating for six months now. He's a travel manager. I'm so happy for you. Look, I never believed not even for a second that you could do something like that. What were they thinking? Didn't they see the kind of person you are? How did you even survive? I don't want to talk about it, Anastasia. Where are you working now? I'm a nurse in a nursing home. It's been a year. They won't take me anywhere. Could you help me with the job? I'm sorry, but all I can think about is a job. Nothing yet, huh? I think I can help. But only if you are ready to be a nurse. They're always quitting. Our company's very strict, you know? So I'll be a nurse. I mean, if I have no other choice, I'll accept. Good, then I'll talk to the CEO. She's a good woman. She'll understand. If she says yes, I'll call you and you can come. Thanks, Anastasia. I know what will cheer you up. Chocolate cake. Come on, <laughs> let's have some. <laughs> okay. The whole billboard is the image of a yogurt. And below the fruit, there's a slogan. Eat me, I'm yummy. No, it's better to place it above, above the image. It's a nice touch. How do you envision it? Oh, hold on. What if we put it in the center of the yogurt? What do you think about that? In the center. In the center? Okay. Yes, the center. That's a great idea. All right, it's agreed. Thank you. Goodbye, guys. All right, guys, let's start working on this. Thanks for the idea. Mm -hmm. Daddy. Hmm. Why haven't you gone home? I need your help, Dad. My future depends on it. Oh, that was slick of you. So how can I help you? Please, Dad, talk to Maxim. You know how much I like him. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I have an appointment. Uh -huh. I'm Anya Federchuk. Anya Federchuk. Let's see. Federchuk. That's strange. Your name's not on here. It's not? It's for me. I'll take it from here. Thank you. You have everything? Yes. Let's go to the HR department. Everything's ready. Let's go. Oh. Hello, neighbor. Hello. Going to work? Yes, I am. Would you like me to give you a lift, huh? No, thank you, Stepan. I think I'll take the bus. It's no problem. No. But I appreciate it. Well, uh, all right then. I'll see you around. Yes. Bye. You need to clean the corridors, then you have to clean the rooms. All of them? No, young lady. You don't have to clean all the rooms, because some of them aren't your duty. Didn't I give you a list? No. Well, clean these first. I'll give you a list. The vacuum cleaner is in the back room. Come in. Mr. Anton, you asked for me? Have a seat, please. Is there something wrong? 
No, it's not about work. I want to talk about Bika. All right, what is it? It's none of my business, but I'll ask anyway. Do you like Vika? <laughs> of course, you bet. I consider Vika to be my best friend. You know how much she helps me with my mom. There, you like her as a friend. Yeah. And that is the most important thing, believe me. The passion will pass. Uh, but the friendship remains. Well, probably. I never thought about it. But you do think. Maybe you need to look at your relationship in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hello. I'm the new nurse here. Hello. I dozed off a bit. What is your name? Anya. And yours? What's mine? Call me Aunt Svetlana. <laughs> Are you here after a stroke? <sighs> yes. <sighs> but I'm recovering. I'm not regaining my memory. And my head keeps spinning. My dear, uh, give me my pills, please. They're over there on the dresser. Have you been taking these a long time? As soon as I left the hospital, my son's friend gives them to me. Uh, and when I need more, she brings me new ones. These can't be taken for a long time. They have a lot of side effects, like dizziness, cardiac arrhythmias, headaches. Really? And memory loss. What do you mean? They help me recover my memory. No, I don't know who prescribed those for you. But after medical school, I had an internship in the intensive care unit. We cared for patients who had just had a stroke. I wouldn't advise you to take these. If I were you, I'd consult your doctor at least. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> you know what? Keep them on you, otherwise I'll forget and take them again. I'll throw them away then. <laughs> Thank you for that. Can you come back later? I'd like to take a short But of nap. course, get some rest. Hmm. Anya, you're home already. How was your first day at work? I'm tired. The job is hard, of course, but I'm happy. So many people. Well, good. We'll eat now. Mm -hmm. I made a roast. Listen, I wanted to talk to you. Our neighbor, he was here, Stepan. He's not married, lives with his mother, works in a construction company. They actually bought the house a year ago. Yeah, so what? I see him almost every morning and... I think he likes me. Mm. He invited me to the movies. <laughs> and you? I said no. Well, I don't know. Well, if you like him, pay attention. Because if he's a good man, he can... I don't know. He's got something... I don't know. I'll think about it. Good for you. You are beautiful. And you're an amazing woman. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. Oh, hold on. I think the roast is burning. <laughs> <laughs> but you are still amazing. <laughs> uh, hello, neighbor. Hello. Can I give you a ride today? Or is it a no? You're very persistent. I am. Well, all right. Yes? 
Then please get inside your carriage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Allow me. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Dad. It's been a week now, and there's no response from him. Well, he's a man. He just needs some time. Dad. He won't go anywhere. Why are you so sure? Because before I proposed to your mom, I gave it a lot of thought. We're all afraid of losing our freedom. A man must get ready. I can't wait, but I can't propose to him. Good morning. Hello, Mr. Anton. Hello. Hello? Well? Yes, could you please sign this? Okay. Done. Uh, I'm going to the creatives. Mm -hmm. Vika, would you have dinner with me tonight? At what time? I'll pick you up at seven. It's kind of important to me. All right. Have a nice day. a very nice walk. I put your phone to charge because it was discharged. Oh, thank you, because what if my son would call now? Ever since I stopped taking those pills, my mind is clear. I'm starting to remember more things. Well, that's wonderful to hear. Today, I even remembered my first case. Bandits terrorized a local banker. And that happened in the early 90s. Are you a police officer? Yes, I'm an investigator. But then, unfortunately, I had a stroke. Why and what exactly happened, I still can't really remember. I'm sure that you were a very good investigator, ma'am, and you would investigate any case successfully. Not like others. Excuse me, here's a menu. I was thinking, we've been friends for so many years. Yeah, you have always been the one by my side. We are kindred spirits. Yeah, and you're the only one who has always supported me, especially when my mom... I couldn't do it any other way. <laughs> Vika. Mm -hmm. Could I please have this dance? Yes. I used to think that love manifests itself differently. But now it's all clear. Victoria, would you like to marry me? Yes. So you accept? I accept. I'm sorry that the ring didn't fit, forgive me. But I will fix it. You've got such an inattentive fiance, but I promise it's to try okay. harder. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, son. Hello. Hello, Vika. Mom, I would like you to bless me and Vika. What for? I proposed to Vika yesterday and she... Said yes. Son, aren't you rushing things? No. 
I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well. Mrs. Svetlana, do you have any pills left? I don't take them anymore. When did you stop taking them? It's been ten days already. I was told not to take them for a long time. So please don't bring those pills to me again. Mom, you're not in a good mood. Let's assume that you blessed us, okay? Bye, Mom. Congratulations. Congratulations! That's it. No way back now. Yeah, and our ceremony's in two weeks, so we better get to it. There's a lot to do. Yeah, I need to call Alex. I want him to be my best man. We go to the bar, discuss everything. Look, Fika, I'm sorry about my mom today. She was acting really strange. Don't worry, it's okay. You know what? Talk to Alex, because I need to go see my mom to discuss some things. Mm -hmm. And don't you dare mm -hmm. choose the cake without me. And tell Alex which boutonnieres I want. I've sent you the pictures, you understand? Whatever you say, my queen. Mm. <clears throat> Goodbye. Goodbye, good luck. Hello, Alex. We need to have a little talk. <laughs> no, really. Will you be my best man? Yeah, but... of course. Hi, Mom. Well, hello there. You can congratulate me. Maxim and I filed a marriage application. Wait, really? Really? Congratulations! <laughs> Your father will be so happy. So when's the wedding? In two weeks. But why so fast? You're not... Mom. Please, I dreamed about this day since I was a kid. I'll take care of the dress and the restaurant tomorrow. Figure out who you want to invite and give me the guest list. I just don't know how to tell Mrs. Svetlana, so the overwhelming joy doesn't affect her. How's her heart doing? Well, her heart is weak, but she's going to make it. Her heart is weak. Well, I'll try to be gentle. My Vika. What? <laughs> My oh, Mom. Vika. <laughs> what, Mom? <laughs> Go on, go to your fiancé, and don't leave him waiting oh, for too yeah. long. <laughs> oh, Mom, uh, the nurse wasn't at the reception again. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. When you pass by there now, tell her to come here, okay? Mm -hmm. Immediately. See you. See you. Nina? My girl's getting married. Mm-hmm. He's okay, yeah. Sure, we like him, yeah. Oh, don't say a word. I have to get back to work. Goodbye. <sighs> Toma, my mom's calling you. She's upset. Do you know why? I don't know. Go. Hurry up. Come on, hurry up. No wonder I spent my childhood here. A chase. An accident. <sighs> Hands in the air! <gasps> Mrs. Svetlana. <gasps> Vika. She tricked me. I sent an innocent person to jail. Oh my god. It was her the whole time. Every moment I must warn Maxim immediately. Now it's time for you to think of marriage too. Yeah, sure. At my young age? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be my best man? Then the boutonnieres. Here, Vika sent the samples, look. You bet I will. What's that? Ah, that's what boutonnieres are. Oh, here's this girl again. Anya, 
She never showed up again? No. I see you didn't forget her. I don't know. Sometimes I even think I'm still in love with her. You know, if she wanted to be with you, she wouldn't go anywhere. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm marrying the one who will never betray and will always be near. That's right. That's right. To trust. That's right. Yep. Mr. Groom. <laughs> Maxim, please answer the phone. Maxim. Hello, Mrs. Fedlana. Oh, hello, Vika. Did you remember anything? <laughs> no, nothing at all. I can see that you're lying, but when Maxim and I get married... You are never going to marry my Maxim. You are a criminal. Okay, you got it? So we're set. Thanks. Thank you. Let's call Vika. I had no signal in there. Oh, ask who the bridesmaid is. Is she pretty? What's the matter? I have a bunch of missed calls from my mom. She never calls that much. I hope she's okay. Okay, Alex, see you. Okay. I'll call you then. Sure, thanks. What's going on? I'll tell Maxim everything. Nothing will work out for you. I was hoping that you'd remember everything after the wedding. Well, anyway, it's good that you took that medicine. It's made your heart weak. But I will definitely support Maxim in his mourning. Are you out of your mind? What are you thinking? Don't worry, Mrs. Fetlana. You'll Leave have a quick alone. death. Sorry, we had a very busy day today. One of the nurses fell ill, so I'm working a double. Help me! Help me! Stay yes, still, me. woman! I'm telling you to stay still! Uh, 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 what are you doing? What are you... You? Vika? I'm not going to let you kill her. Hello, have you seen my mom? I'm so She's glad you're here. Your mother and Vika are there. You're quite resilient. I thought you were going to die in prison. Anya, Anya, I'm Anya, what happened? Vika, Vika. Vika, what happened? Vika, breathe. Anya? She wanted to kill Mrs. Svetlana, but I didn't let her do it. Max and I recorded everything on my phone. Vika would never do something like that. Son, look, listen to this. Are you his mother? Yes. Mom, are you okay? Yes, I'm all right. Listen to this. What is it? Don't worry, Mrs. Svetlana. You'll have a quick death. Leave me alone. Stay Don't still, alone. woman. I'm telling leave you to stay alone. still. Let go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for helping my mom. Where have you been? I went looking for you. You were unconscious inside that wrecked car. And I was the one who put you in the driver's seat. And then based on my testimony, you were convicted. And yes, what I did to you was wrong. So it was you. You broke my life. On that day, Vika tricked me into that car. She threatened that she would drive into a pole at high speed if I didn't leave Maxim. And then she went faster and lost control of the car. We crashed into a police car. I lost consciousness. I came to my senses, but was blamed for everything. Me, and not Vika. Please forgive me. Forgive me, but I thought that, that you were dead. Vika lied to me too. She said that some girl sat down next to her at a traffic light and threatened to kill her. And then she said that she was pregnant by Maxim. She was lying. Yes, I know. Now I know. And I will get justice. 
Even if I have to go to prison myself for this. You won't have to. Let's finally leave all of this in the past. Fika will be convicted for the attempt on your life. She just wanted to be with Maxim at any cost. At any cost. Do you think that you can ever forgive me? Let's take a picture. Come on. Come yeah. here. Come here. Stand right here. Smile. Oh. <laughs> <Cute> couple. <laughs> you have endured so much for the sake of our love. Please don't ever leave me again. Well, let's go. Come on, Mr. Groom, come on! <laughs> when I had no strength left, and it seemed that life no longer made any sense, I would remember your smile. <laughs> I love you, Anya. And I love you more. Kissing, please. <laughs> yeah, remember us? Are you ready to throw the bouquet? <laughs> Who's the lucky one? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's for you. It's for yours, Mom. <laughs> oh, 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 come here, son. Promise that you'll be happy. We promise. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.